What's up guys, welcome back to the Leeds United career on Football Manager. Last episode we signed a new striker in Abubakar Kamar from Fulham and he started okay. Um, and as you can see I played some more games from when we left off. L left off and I'm pretty sure it was the Huddersfield game where we drew two where we won two nil sorry. And since then as you can see I've played quite a bit. Actually no it wasn't it wasn't that one. It was this ho yeah okay so it was this Huddersfield one. We won two nil and as you can see I've played quite a bit. Um trying to finish off the season and we're nearly there, we've only got two games to go and as you can see we did actually okay in these games. We won one against Cardiff, nil nil against Fulham won one nil against Luton and with Jack Hatton scored an 87th minute winner. Um, we also, if we scroll back down here, unfortunately though we got an embarrassing 3 0 loss to Blackburn, then a 1 0 win at Stoke, where Aliossi scored the winner. Why does he keep doing this? Uh, 2 0 win against Swansea and a 1 0 win against Barnsley, with Pablo Hernandez scored the last minute penalty, absolute scenes. And that result means we have guaranteed ourselves a promotion. Um, we're not for actual promotion, we're guaranteed ourselves a playoff spot. And we are one point off automatic promotion. We just need Fulham to slip up and for us to win these last two games. So, with these last two games, we have our currently Charlton at home and Derby away. Derby away is going to be first. Massive. So, we've guaranteed our playoff spot. In this episode, we are going to finish off the season. And um, if, we, if it means go to the playoffs, we will do that. We will play the playoffs in this episode. So, um... Right, we're gonna do this, okay? Right, so so that was meeting was apparently huge success. So, Derby are twenty first in the league. Let's have a look at who uh, West Brom have, because or Fulham is it? Actually, no, you know, we won't be looking at West Brom. So West Brom, we look at their schedule. They currently have Huddersfield away and QPR at home. Okay, that's all right then. Fulham, we don't really need to worry about. It's really just West Brom who we need to worry about. So. And also, Charlton are bottom of the league in their home. That's the easiest fixture we could have possibly got. These are two, and if you look at the table, these are two relatively easy fixtures. However, you never know with this one. This is going to be typical. So, this is the team we're, I've been playing. This team we're going to play in this game. We're going to go straight into this. Waste no time. Come on, the boys. I really want to go automatic promotion. This is not going to be easy. Got like Wayne Rooney in there. And the centre mid had a good season. 11 goals, 5 assists for him. Jack Marriott. He's only scored three goals, but we know that he's a good player. Uh, Waghorn there, nine goals for him. Tom Lawrence is the assist machine in this team. So they've got some good players, but so do we. So, come on, please win th this. We need to also keep an eye on the of a West Brom. Okay, Fulham. So Fulham. Okay, so Fulham drew, I think. Did Fulham? Fulham? No, no Fulham won. So, so we need to win as well. I don't even know at this point. All I know is that we need to win. That's what we really need to be focusing on. We'll have a look at the um, how West Brom are getting on afterwards. But here we go. We've got a chance here with Phillips. Shelton playing a ball over the top, but it didn't work. Derby with the, with the ball here. Good ball from Rooney. Tom Lawrence. Good save from Casilla. We really can't afford to lose any of these two games. We need to get points in either of them. Ideally, win both of them. As cross is going to come across up here. And play it back so domination in possession early on but again so many times this season i've said it we dominate possession but we don't do much with it can we do something with it now kamara see our new big striker signing however we lose the ball poor from there i think it was phillips giving it away wag on that for a chance they hit it wide not the best start for us derby with another chance it looks like they get a score. They don't. Wow, we they are coming very close. We need a goal and quickly, otherwise they are going to get one, and we will not be in a good position. We have to get the first goal in this game. That is really crucial in keeping the players' morale up. And again, look, dominate possession, but only four shots, one on target. They've had more shots with a lot less possession, which is not good at all, and it's not been a good half really. We really need to win this. I'm um, going to go attacking Derby as you look are oh, all the way down there, so we really need to be winning this game. Ailing, Ben White goes all the way back to the keeper. 
See, look, this is what we're doing. We just pass it around and not really moving anywhere. Look, again, we just keep passing it backwards. Douglas. There we go, it's more like it. Come on, yes! Come on! Come on! He's been a good signing. He is showing me why it was a right idea to bring him in. He has scored a lot of important goals for us since we brought him in. It's a great goal as well. Great ball from Shackleton. So, as it stands, we are still one point behind them. Only three points off first as well. So, we have guaranteed at least playoffs, but we need the automatic promotion, really. Shackleton, Phillips. Phillips playing out wide to Aiden. Bogu, he's Aiden, gets the ball to the box, and Kamal was there again with his head. He's eight for the season. I'm pretty sure that's the same amount as Augustine's got, if I'm being correct. Yeah, it is. So, Kamara, he's very young as well, I think, isn't he? 20, oh, no, he's 25, I thought younger than that, but still, he's still got the potential, though. So, he still hasn't reached his full potential, even at 25. So, that is promising. So, we've got a lot, we've got better goal than than uh, Westbourne, so we don't need to worry about that. What we do need to worry about, though, is um, holding on to this league. We can't let this slip now. The famous words of Stephen Jardis. Come on, Set through! Oh, and there you go, it's hat trick there. Alright, Derby changed to 43 1. I don't think that's going to really change what I'm going with. I'll go to balance uh, just to try and get a look. It's been a brilliant performance from uh, Shackleton and Kamara, especially. But everyone really playing well. And there we go, come on! 2 0 win, massive. Clean sheet as well. So, West Brom did indeed win 4 0. So, they've gone top. Fulham now is uh, what we need to worry about is it looked like obviously they had um, we had a game in hand in them so it goes down to the last day Charlton at home bottom of the league realistically I could not be given an easier fixture when you look at the table so we're, we're one point behind Fulham now it's changed to Fulham who we need to worry about now so who do they have on the final day they're Wigan away wow what a huge game that's going to be tough for them so we have a chance Wigan obviously smashing it in this table as well. Wow, okay. This is this is huge. <laughs> like, this is massive for us right now. Ooh, hello. Too bad, yeah. Could be a decent little deal. Might just try and do that, you know. Five hundred K? Five hundred seventy five K, you know what I might actually try and Alright, let's go. So, yeah, we could do that. 500k bargain. We'll get your Travella in there from Liverpool. So, oh, okay, so that's not good. We can get go with coins plan there. Right, we are favoured for the trial game, but obviously that means nothing. Kenner here. Maybe we don't need that guy when we've got Kenner. Kenner, this guy. Very good potential. Maybe move to the first team soon. Right, go go to the same team. This is huge. Last game of the season. Right, they've got like a Lyle Taylor. 16 goals for him this season. Former Wimbledon man. Tom Herod, former Brighton man. If I'm being honest, I don't really know. Oh, no, here we go. There's never Wimbledon player. Deji Osolada. Right. Here we go. Right, he started over uh, a lot of possession, but now we've got the possession here. They've got one shot, we've also had one shot, so let's have a look how things going on, not really anything affecting us. As, so, if I'm, so, if Fulham draw and we win, we go second, I'm pretty sure. So, that's also gives us no reason to be hopeful, but we need to win shackles and all! Imagine, imagine we pings out, pulls out the bag there. Right, not really any, Stuart Dallas getting the score, she's blowing, obviously we sold him. Was that in the last episode or was it off camera? I don't know, but anyway, yes, I did sell Stuart Dallas if it was off camera, I can't remember. But here we go, Bogus getting the ball into the box there. And obviously picks it up. Bogus again, a bad post. Come on, knocks it down! And how the cross is there! With 23rd of the season. Come on with the assist. And look at this. West Brom are 2 0 down to QPR. That's massive. Um, Fulham is still 0 0. As it stands, we are top of the league. Oh my god. Right, that goal could be massive. So, West Brom are losing. Fulham, I can't see them. I can't see Fulham anywhere. Okay, so they're, okay, they're at the bottom. They're drawing 0-0. This is perfect for us right now. Right, 
However, we're not playing, actually I say that with a 10 shot 70, 72 percent position. I'm talking really quickly and I apologise. This is very exciting. So, West Brom 2 0 down. That is massive. So, as it stands, we are top of the league. Who would have thought that? Alright, more results coming in. How are we getting on for fitness? Uh, we're doing okay. We need another goal there. Wigan and Fulham is now 1 1. So, that happened very quickly, but it's still perfect for us. Costa the drives into the box. Luke Ayling. Bogies. Phillips. Loses out. Can't concede now, boys. We need to get a second. Held Costa. Got our goal. Scored big score goals all season. Gets into the box and come on, it's there again. For his ninth of the season. What a signing he's been. And that could be the goal which sends us into the Premier League. Come on. So, if I'm so wrapping it in the Fulham game. So, Fulham went one up in 61st minute and Wigan played back in 66. That is perfect for us. As it stands, everything is going perfectly right now. Come on. I'd really like to win the league. Oh, no, wait. Fulham have gone. What's happened? So, West Brom pulled one back. That's not great. And Fulham have gone 2-1 up. Oh, no. Okay. 3-0. Hela Costa. Brilliant. That all but secures victory for us. Let's have a look at this guy. I didn't see it. So, Strickland gets the ball. He's challenged here. Comes out to Douglas. Gets into the box. It's poor clearance and Costa latches onto it. Nice. Right. Oh, God. Oh, no. Right. Come on, keep it out. Hold on. Right. We've done all we can. Did. We did. Come on. We're going up. Second place is secured against all the other. Say it against all the other. I'd say it. So, West Brom lost to QPR. Scenes. So, we had a Fulham game. Fulham did win in the end, but it doesn't matter. We will clinch second place by the skin of our teeth. Only one point of um, first. We could have won the league. We didn't. But that doesn't matter. We're not going up. Come on. You love to see it. So, what's that initial budget? We're 41 million as well. That is huge. Obviously, there's a lot of players we need to um, improve in this team, including, um, I would say, I did say striker, maybe we don't, because Kamara bagged in goals in, in the second half of the season, but can he do in the Premier League? We don't know, but absolute huge result there. <laughs> absolute scene. So, let's have a look. So, Costa, top scorer with 24 goals. Bogus, the youngster, 18 years old, got most assists with 12. Shackleton got the most highest average rating. He didn't play many games, actually, um, but still chipped in. I, I've, I'm really tempted to be starting him most times in the season because he's a very good player. And Harold Cross got most player of the match awards. You love to see it. You really do. It's a huge result. So, Trevelia. Trevelia? Trevelia. 600k. I think we'd uh, do this. Yeah, I'm going to sign him. 600k. Bang. Bargain. So, that means I can definitely get rid, rid of, sorry, uh, Adam Forshaw. Who didn't really play a single game. But we can get rid of him. This guy, McCalmott. I don't think I'll sell him, but I'm going to move him into the reserves. And we're going to send him to go out on loan. Alright, so we've got, who are the players we've got? Like, so we've got this guy, he's got a potential striker. Um, okay. So, Bamford's injured. I do want to sell Bamford. That is one of the things I want to do. A lot of people want him alone. I want to get him rid of him uh, permanently. Um, so, Leeds end of the season was here we go. So, Helder Costa, unsurprisingly, came first. He won our fans player of the season. 24 goals for him from the wing. Goals in Shackleton versus Huddersfield. I remember that one. Absolute screamer. Let's have a look again here. So, Alioski picks up the ball. Drives at them. Um, comes out to Bogus, he lays it off, and Shackleton, after a few times set himself, bangs it into the bottom corner. What a goal. Shackleton also won the young player of the season. I'm surprised. I thought Bogus would have won that. But, and Kamara won our signing of the season. My, what a master stroke that was, if I do say so myself, to bring him in. So, there we go. Brilliant. And also, QPR went up by looks of things. Oh no, that was just in the semi-final, okay. So, now tension turns to transfers. That is what we want. So, we will have, it looks like, £50 million. If I look at this starting lineup, I pretty much want to keep, I'm happy with everyone. I think, Kasia, 
I'm pretty sure, yeah, Casilla's leaving. So Casilla is leaving, I think. So we definitely need a new goalkeeper. New left back. Uh, centre backs with also, I forgot to mention, I did some dealing. Um, off camera, I'm pretty sure. And I managed to pick up Rob Holding uh, for an absolute steal uh, of 10 million. So that's huge. Uh, I forgot to mention that Rob Holding will be. Uh, joining, he's going to be the replacement for Ben White, who's obviously leaving to go back on loan to uh, Brighton. But get in, it's a good promotion, you love to see it. Okay, so we're a bit further on now, and I'm going to be looking at some transfers. So if we look, these loan players to leave, Ben White is gone, played a lot of games for us. However, obviously, we are replacing him with Rob Holding. Masilio here is a big. Um, Although I would really like to keep him, but hopefully, so if we can get for 3.4 million, hopefully he does accept that. Jack Harrison, very good super sub, uh, but I don't really mind um, get, let, let, uh, losing him, and the same is for Augustine. So, Masilia, he just doesn't want to uh, come really despite us putting a good off him. So, if you look at transfer listed, interested, so there's quite a few which interest me. And one of them here is Booth Fowles, but I don't really think we need a winger. 14 million is a very decent uh, deal, and I mean, he would be an upgrade on Alioski. So I don't know, but we'll have to have a look at uh, some other options. Um, Phil Walcott is 31 now. Colin here from Southampton, no, I'm from the Birmingham save, I don't really need him. Um, Isaac success can we looked in before nine million. Don't really, I'm not. Sure. Do we need a winner? I mean, maybe we could do with one, but there's there's more priorities right now. Um, there's not really many people listed for loans. Let's have a look at some free agents. Um. So obviously there's Bavari here. Anyone of note? Um look at expiring one month. Anyone? Not really. Three months. Here we go. This is interesting. A lot of people here. James Rodriguez being one of them. Really want to come though? I'm not sure. We could get Zlatan Ibrahimovic, 38 years old, and you would want, a, but you, know, you never know, you never know. Ravel Morrison, probably a bit of a, a bit of a risk, isn't it? Um, Nathaniel Klein could be a little, decent little deal, you never know. Herbie Kane, don't really need him though. We will scout uh, Zlatan. You never know. Could be a decent little deal. Alright, if we progress a few more days. So, our success. Decent. Zlatan. I'm going to have a look at his wages. Oh, so he didn't want to come. I think now it's because we're still maybe a kind of like a championship club. Right, Nathaniel Klein. I think this would be a good deal. So I'm actually going to go for it. Um, it's quite crazy wages. The wages aren't ideal though. Right, we'll go with that. We'll offer, we'll offer him a contract, why not? Hope Kane don't really need because we've just signed Shavidia as well. So, contract set to expire, I'm not really keen on any of these people unless I should be but so players said to return on loan uh, we'll send that guy's deal uh, so in a few days so we'll be holding and Shavilia will be joining so that's a starting centre back and maybe a starting uh, goalkeeper not goalkeeper what am I trying to say starting centre mid maybe you never know but uh, we're quite strong in the centre mid area Right, Klein, 900k, we'll, we'll do that, that is a decent deal. I know he's 29, but he could probably start for me, so I'm happy with that. So he'll be joining as well, 
So, client signing confirmed. I did try, I'm pretty sure it was off camera to try and get Bang Ginkle, but he wasn't having any of it. So, start a transfer window. Maybe now is the last time we want to come to us. Nope, still haven't done it. Okay, so, two signings finalised. Holding and Shavilia, I think that's how you pronounce it. Don't cross the loan off with this guy. Yep. Uh, both of these guys will be on loan. So, if we're looking at our team, holding, come straight. We definitely need a goalkeeper as well because we don't even have a backup. Trevilla, um, he's kind of. Is he going to start ahead of Bogus? Probably not. I think if we were to start him, we'd probably play something like this. So. Holding's definitely going to come in. That's a great deal. I was happy with that. Trevilla. I don't know. I don't think he'll be starting week in, week out. But he will play a part this season. So we'll stick with the 4 3 because that seems to be working for me. We'll, I don't think we'll go strong on midfield. Our midfield's where we're strong. Shackleton, Phillips, Bogues, also got Shavillio as well. We can come in. So squad depth is something where we're very lacking. We need a backup goalkeeper. We're going to be getting Klein in. So maybe the reserves is who we turn to. We're looking here at the reserves. Okay, who is so Ryan Edmondson going to be bringing in, I think, um, to replace Bamford because I, I, if Bamford sells, he'll be our backup striker. There's also a few more that we could bring in if I'm looking at them. Um, we. Where is he? So, this guy, goalkeeper. There's also Kenner here. Couldn't find him. He'll be joining. I think. Do I, I don't think I'll put him straight into the first team. But what I'll do, I'll. Available for loan. Um, do that. Uh, so Bamford draws in just from Sheffield Wednesday. Yes, good. Right. Offer for loan offer. And we've got an offer for four short. One million. We'll take that. So, now we need to be smart. So, see a class that just seen transfers to 12 million. I do need a left back. That could be huge. But he's more of a wing back. But wing back, yes, I might have to go with that. I think for cheaper. Right, 12.5 million. That could be huge. Um, if he wants to come, that is. Because that is a very decent deal, actually. Right, who else is there? We transfer this dude. Leonardo Trossard. This did 19 million. A lot of money. Because he is a good player. Um, Jack Butland here transfer this did. How much? 5 million. Oh my god, yes. We've got to go with that, surely. 5.75 million for Jack Butland. We'll put that in straight away. Ben Pearson, listed for 7.5 million. Don't really need him. Right, Klasnach and Butland. This could be huge. We're going to be going for both of these guys. Alright, Butland there. See a Klasnach. Uh, he's got us for a lot, isn't he? Alright. Ah. This could be a issue I don't think we're going to be able to go with Cloud Nash, but we can definitely go with Jack Butland uh, which is massive, he'll probably be my starting goalkeeper Cloud Nash probably just asking for way too much really which is always interesting is that all of them are saying that I should improve my attackers maybe I do need a new striker maybe Kamara isn't ready to really leave the line up top in the Premier League. So we'll put in Edmondson here into the first team. Um, right, McCalmott getting more. Oh, 2.4 million, 3.2. Right, we'll go with that. Okay, we'll accept that. Right, this man. No, we don't need you because you're signing Jack Butland. That is a very good deal, I'm happy with that. 6.25 million, starting goalkeeper, will sell for sure to Huddersfield as well. Jack Butland, welcome. 
he is going to be coming in. So, looking at this starting team, I want to get a new left back. Um, definitely, Cloud Knight would have been good. However, I think he was just asking for too much. We couldn't really afford it. And this, I might go sh back in. Who's this? Connell from Celtic, winger. Decent. This man, goalkeeper. Alright, there's a lot of. Oh, wait, who's this? Krunich. Six million. Oh, that, he's a very good midfielder by looks things, but don't need a midfielder. Alright. Yes, I do need a midfielder, and I'm being stupid. But I don't think we do. Right, look at this. Oh, Oxford James in terms of 53 million. Really? Obviously, Kalaz Natural. I'll put another off room, but Ryan Bertrand, 30 years old, 16 million. Luke Shaw, 11 million. That could be good. That could be very good, actually. Yeah, Kalaz Natural doesn't want to speak to us anymore. But Luke Shaw could be good if we can get that done right. McCalmick's going to leave 1.4 million. And Luke, I, I would like to sign Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw could be good. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. Oh, what? He said he was interested. That's annoying. Um. Oh, hello. 32 years old, though. Would be a quality signing, though. Two point eight million, hundred k a week. Yeah, go away. Right, Eric Lamella has just gone the chance for 13 million. Eric Lamella. Uh, Masawaku here. 6.75. Okay, we'll scout him. Cheng Tus, Tosin, Tosin. 17 finishing, 29 years old though. Um, who else is the. Is Coelho 6.25 million winger? Have a look. So, Eric Lamella, not really okay. Masawaki could be good. I think we'll go with that. Hopefully, he's not asking for as much as Kalasnach was. Um, Schenk Tucson. So, it says like. I, I just. Can someone just buy Bamford, please? Learn what it takes to aspire. You can just to aspire. Like massive warfare. So again, like what is with these? Relegation release clause: seven million. You having a laugh? There we go. All right, massive warfare could be joining. He'll be our starting left back, replacing Barry Douglas. Um, all right, it's taking its time to. So, looks like the fixtures have come out. First five fixtures that is Fulham, Fulham at home, so that's all right. Brighton away, Liverpool at home, Norwich away, Man United at home. Ooh, ooh, uh, not great. It's not brilliant. Okay, so now Klasner says he's interested. He wasn't interested before. So let's have a look at... Anyone? Farfan, do you remember? Farfan, he's 35 now. Um, who's expiring in one month? Who's that? Pretty much everyone that we saw before. 43 years old this man is. Oh my god. Fair play. Alright, Kevin Long here. Um, I think we, you know, we can get him in. Back up. Why not? Okay then. Why? Why does he want that much? 
Um, screw lotto. Not really needed though, is he? Uh, Carl Sanger. Alfie Jones wanted by all these guys. CDM. Not really anyone really jumping at me. What about three months? No? Six months? Yeah. Shane Long? No. He's 33. And maybe not Shane Long. Do I need to sign a striker? Is that is that so oh who's this then? Joe Aribo from Rangers. Don't need a central midfielder though. But Rangers could we could have a look at some Rangers players. Um anyone they have that really interests me. So I guess they don't have So Ryan Kent is there on a permanent now. We're off, we're off we're off of Ryan Kent. So Brighton now won't look sure. And we'll put in there, even though we're signing Masawaki, we'll put in another off for Luke Shaw. Ah, okay, no, yeah, he, he still doesn't, he's still doing more sorts of us. Right, so yeah, so, right. Got a lot of stuff happening now. Okay. Ryan Kent, that could be decent. Um, he's better than Adioski, apparently. Katic would be good. Uh, we need to send it back. Not really. So I'll leave Katic. Right, okay. Done, so... Alright, so we've got quite a few people contract expiring here. I uh, hope you know really have no. Right, okay, so we'll deal with contracts in a minute. So, Alien, what do you deal? So... Right, okay, so what do I do here? So, play contracts. Apply recommended action to all. Okay, so they're not happy with me selling Pablo Hernandez. Oh god, okay, they don't want that. Two signings finalised, so Helder Costa joined permanently and also Nathaniel Klein comes in. Now Masawaku is going to come in for £7 million. Boom. There we go. Bogus got to offer him a new... Okay, maybe not. Alright, so Masawaku comes in. Oh my god, right, okay, hang on. Hang on. Alright, I need to go through all these. So, did it do all those contracts? Um. Alright, we'll, we'll do that. Hopefully, these guys all need deals. I'll oh, say, so, so Jay Roy got. I don't think. I can sell this guy. We'll sell him. Barry Douglas will keep for now. Uh, Luke Ayling we will keep. Um, this guy. We need to Edmondson, yes, we will keep you. Uh, don't need you, don't need you. Okay. Significant potential, is it though? Alright, so that's all done there. Alright. Alioski's got injured, brilliant. Right, let's have a look. So, Costa comes in, bang, Masawaku comes in, bang, and Klein comes in, bang. So, we're looking at our team. So, Ailing or Klein? Klein should start. We will go with Klein there. Masawaki will come in there. So, he's not completely a, wing, a defensive wing back. It's fine. Helder Costa comes back in. So, that is pretty much our starting 11 for now. Masawaku Klein holding a button on you signing. Obviously, Costa as well, but he doesn't really count. Oh, Chevalier as well on the bench. Okay. I don't know where we go from here. Maybe we need an. Uh, Alioski? Is he still good enough? I don't know. Kamara? Is he good enough to lead the line? I don't know. So really, if we are going to sign someone, there'll be a striker 
or and or a winger, really. Um, this man, 21-year-old winger, 5.25 million. I'll um, put that in. Ryan Kent. That could be good. Let's see, 6.5 million. Okay. Okay. Important player. Is he, uh, he's having none of that. Um, we go relegation release clause, minimum free release clause, up to 30 million. Do this 10k, 20k, 20k. Bang, he's happy with that. So, what to say for Ryan Kent, the regular star? The I think we'll go with this guy. What's his name? Sebastian Szymanski. He could be joining us. A new winger. Um, and then I might go in for a striker. So Kenny. Kenny. I think we'll pronounce him Kenny. He could be joining the first team. I think he will be. Uh, again, like, what is with these... Um, yeah, let's not do that. So everyone's signing a new deal at the moment. All right, we'll go with we've got our first friendly. Adios, you have to play. We don't really have the biggest squad in the world at the moment. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vid this one here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like, subscribe. See you later. Peace out.